Okay, yeah, I'm a former Seventh Day Adventist uh, mm -hmm. elder in a wow. Seventh Day Adventist um, home fellowship. So I used to be an evangelist for them. Um, wow. Yeah, and then I started questioning some of the writings of Alan White, and I finally stepped down from the fellowship that I was a uh, elder in. And some of the questions I have for you, Anthony, is yeah. because I am a historicist, although yes. it is something that's different than preterism. Yes. Uh, so you probably understand the Seventh Day Adventist view. It's kind of my I view do. is kind of similar to theirs. I do. Although I do believe, yeah, I do believe in a future earthly kingdom. Yes. Um, after the Second Advent, of course, in my view, though, um, I do believe that New Jerusalem comes down out of heaven after Second Fine. Advent. Oh, okay. In Revelation seven nine through fifteen, the great multitude is seen before the throne of God. And your understanding is that after the Second Advent or well, they're not in heaven now because they haven't been resurrected until the 20th chapter, I would say. Right. The reason yeah. why I ask is because if you yes. look at Revelation 7, 9 through 15, yes, yes. it's very similar to Revelation 21, 1 through 6. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then we could say that's the same thing and they will be in that condition. Otherwise, we get some sort of contradiction. Uh, so ultimately, of course, they're going to be seen with God in his under his care let me give you ellen g white's big error if i may suggest to you she said there'll be nobody left on on the earth for a thousand years do you know that yeah that's one of the problems i had with the millennium in heaven was because i started seeing uh that that wasn't Good. consistent with isaiah 24 and Absolutely. it also it didn't make sense because one of the teachings of adventism in the millennium is we're going to be in the millennium for a thousand years yes so it didn't make sense that when it says the new Jerusalem comes down out of heaven and the voice is heard saying, God will now dwell with men. And I always thought, well, aren't yeah. we already been with him for a thousand years? No, that's wonderful. So, you got that right. Yeah. But you see how crooked that was. I'm not trying to be hard on Ellen G. White, and yet I am. This dear woman in her controversy book writes of Isaiah 24, there'll be a few people left. Oh, she leaves it out. Sorry. This is a crime scene. I want you to concentrate on that. She says, God is going to devastate the earth, all sorts of trouble, right? Depopulated. Then the text says, and few <coughs> men will be left. Ellen G. White left that out. Watch out. Yeah. She yeah. says she's more than a prophetess. Be careful with the guru. She wasn't that good. Yeah, I have, I've read a lot of her books. Um, she wasn't that good. Lot. Yeah. yeah I've read a lot of her books. Mm. I think what happens is, is that, I mean, in, in my experience from reading her, she yes. does write a lot of beautiful things. Yeah. Uh, but there's definitely some errors right. in, in a lot of things that she You're not, I would ask you to look more at Isaiah 24. To say that Satan will be alone on the earth during the thousand years is very sinister. When she goes dot, 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 leaves out the text which she doesn't agree with, watch out. She says she's more than a prophetess. Watch out. There may be more evil in that system than yet you've seen in Armstrong. We know it was a disaster. Now, well, how what? Yeah, how I understand the binding of Satan yes. is, um, you know, and I'm an amillennialist, mm, but oh, how an amillennialist? Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. So, we we'll debate that one too. <laughs> but my understanding of the, of the my amillennial view is that yeah. we're in the millennium now. Oh, Messiah comes back. He's still establishing a kingdom on earth, but it'll yes. just we're going from this age, yeah. the millennium. To the new heaven and new earth. With the okay. New Jerusalem, you know? I think that's, with great respect, entirely wrong. You are not ruling the world now. You are no. not. And this in the not... millennium, you will be. Can you understand this... that? You are not ruling the world. That's a heresy, Paul said. Don't imagine it. You're not. In the millennium, you are going to be ruling the earth with Messiah. That should open that whole area for you. I well, see. the reason I understand the binding to Satan to be now is because he cannot deceive the Gentiles anymore. And remember the mystery of the gospel was that the Gentiles will be brought into the commonwealth of Israel. That was the yeah. mystery hidden from the ages. So in that sense, he cannot deceive the nations anymore because now the gospel has been, you know, fully opened up to them and they're yeah. now into Israel. Yes. So you know that the Satan, you know, Jesus gives binding language, uh, you know, when he's preaching about yes, yes. Satan being the strong man, the palace being Satan's kingdom. And, 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 and Jesus being the one that binds the strong man right. and strips his goods, yes. that's, a, that's binding language. But it's not the binding of Revelation 20 when he's put in the abyss. He's not in the abyss now. He's in the sublunar space deceiving the entire world. I think you've possibly overreacted there. I 
have a look at it. You're not ruling the world. You're kidding yourself. You are not. Well, in the millennium, you are going to be ruling on the earth with Messiah. Well, we are kings and priests now. The no, Bible yeah, said. but you're not ruling the world. Sorry. That's a heresy. Right. Paul yeah. said to the Corinthians, you're wrong, he said. Some of you imagine you're kings and priests now. You are not. Well, that's why I brought up Revelation 7, 9 through 15 yes. and 21, 1 yes. through 6, because they're yes. very similar if you read yes. them. Yes. And one's, one's after the second advent, Revelation mm -hmm. 7, and one's after the millennium. Mm -hmm. And if they're the same, then that tells me that uh, post-second advent and post-millennium are one and the same. You know what I'm saying? It's like New Jerusalem comes down after Revelation 20. Yes. And Revelation, Revelation 21, 1 through 6 is detailing the same thing of Revelation 7, 9 through 15, which is after the second advent, yes. which tells me the millennium is now because those, I mean, you look at those passages when you get a chance, they're pretty similar. No, I've looked at 60 years and I can still be wrong. But wait a minute. You're actually making language awfully difficult. In the millennium, Satan is going to be bound to deceive the nations no longer, period. And then people who had their heads chopped off come alive. What's that? Isn't that a literal resurrection? Oh, I believe, I believe, um, my, I have a whole paper on the millennium. And see, yeah. I believe in the same state of the dead as you. So I'm not. Yes, good, good. Yeah. So but talk, talk about that chopping of the heads of those people who then came alive. That's a real death and resurrection. That will not work for our mill. Well, I do believe at stake here, right? That's I do believe there's a spiritual resurrection. I believe there is a spiritual resurrection. We understand the that that when we get baptized, it represents the Messiah's yes. resurrection. Um, of course, God. I believe that too. But when it says the heads were chopped off, that's a spiritual resurrection. It isn't. You're losing track of normal natural language. I'm suggesting to you, Ellen G. White. Well, if we understand. <laughs> I mean, Peter even confirms yeah. in Acts 2, 29 to 36 that mm -hmm. Messiah's resurrection is what filled the promise to David to have yeah. someone of David's seat sit on his throne. Fine. And we, if we go to Hebrews 1, uh, 1 8 and 9, you see Messiah being sat on the throne. Mm -hmm. and, and we see two Psalms, well, two Davidic kingship Psalms quoted yeah. in there, one from Psalm 2, yeah. 7, and Psalm uh, 45. Those are Israelite kingship songs. So, Psalm, so I have to understand Jesus is being coronated as an Israelite king. He's not sitting on his own throne. You know the distinction in Revelation. Sitting with God on his throne, he will sit on the throne in Jerusalem. Do you understand that as literal? Well, remember the throne of David, though, was also called the throne of Jehovah. So when you sat on the throne of David in the Old Testament, that's right. it was equated as sitting on the throne of Jehovah. So no, that's why I'm heaven. It's not in heaven. The throne of David, you're losing the messianism there, I think. The throne of David is in Jerusalem. It's not there now. I suggest that you rethink that. That's all I can do. But right. you're fantastic. I don't know many excess SDAs. I watched them all become Trinitarians. Well, yeah, the main church is Trinitarian, but there is a movement that is semi-Aryan. Really? Which is still, yeah, it's a big semi-Aryan movement that's yeah. growing. And yes. that's what the original belief, actually, of Alan White. Yes, and, uh, absolutely. Ben. And I, absolutely. The other thing is the day-year theory. I'd go very carefully there. Read everything you can find on the day-year theory. I think that's false. 42 See, months. My yeah, my understanding of the numbers in Revelation, yeah. the, the 1260 yeah. and yeah. Uh, the thousand is mm -hmm. just a symbolic of a bigger number of the church age, the new covenant church age. I know. But why is that? Why are you going a little bit loose on normal language? You're getting Daniel 9, right? 490 well, we years. That, well, we know that um, in Revelation, uh, it's, it says that it's codified in symbols. So I do believe there's a lot of symbolism in the book of Revelation. Who said it's codified in symbols? Well, in Revelation 1... Yes, I know. I'm aware of that. It's a Christadelphian argument. It's not right. It's simply indicated. It's just communicating. Nothing about everything's a symbol. That's dangerous. Well, I don't, don't believe everything's a symbol, but I believe that... Yes. Um, okay. I believe there are things that are symbols, like okay. with the beast. Of course. The beast and, Absolutely. Would you write a paper on the Daniel 9, 490 years for us and see what you come up with? Right. I see, I understand for that... Yeah. Even... I understand that a 490 or that end of the 70 weeks was yes. uh, completed already during the, you know, probably some people think the stoning of Stephen, some people think 70 AD, but I don't believe in a gap theory where the last seven weeks okay. is the, or last seven years is fast okay. forwarded 2000 years later. Okay. You can then think about the 1290 days. Tell me the beginning and the end. Do a paper on the beginning and the end of those periods. You'll find it very interesting. And oh, yeah, as we read Kalan Delich, by the way, you need some Hebrew. 
read Kyle and Delich and go through minutely what Kyle does with that. I suggest.